Inuma the first royal house of women wing, led by Sister Dora. A Miko royal dynasty of Ori Kingdom, they're also here. Wari Ladies Vanguard, we appreciate you. We also have Agora Ladies Club here in Wari. Members of Wari Progressive Society, also known as Otoli, we appreciate you greatly. National Association of Shekri students, National Association of Shekri graduates, they are also here. Kodafa, the leadership and members will welcome you. Jory Habal Remedy and team will appreciate you. And of course, we have Ebiro Lori. Alema Ladies Vanguard, they are here. The entire leadership and members of Ogunu community will thank you for your presence. Ishekri National Youth Council, and finally, Ishekri Modern Security. We thank you all, and we appreciate you for coming. Please, move put us together for ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> your Majesty, with your kind permission, permit me for us to delve straight to item number eight, renditions. Hail, hail, you were a happy land.
Your hands together beautifully. Long live the king. Amen. The Iwere Royal Choir, founded last year by His Majesty and Olori, the most admired choir in Nigeria. Please let's put your hands together for them once more. Okay, amen. Oh, for sure. Music, they say, is life. Your Majesty, next on today's docket is poetry recital. We have Personalities has been assigned to take that assignment. Sir Barrister Egat Omonukari, Ayola Mabiaku, and Prince Emmanuel Adasin Ogan. Please, may we appreciate them. Thank you. When our world was dazed by clashes against cells, 
We didn't reckon with the machinations from diverse people. And our feet burned on end for once expected from lands of foreign people who post mocking smiles over our rot. Almost bringing us to our knees. There were days we ruminated over our rich history with sense of pride over our cultural heritage and cherished cover. We are aware of original rowers of the great Bini River, a people of diverse uniqueness. There were days we were overwhelmed by thoughts on traditional heads and their natural roles in changing perspectives and homesteads. From sheer nothing to immeasurable standards, we wondered why the place of traditional leadership shouldn't be squarely reserved for rulers with creative standing, skillfully waving way of bettering the lot of our people. You are the uncommon king of the rivers, divinely ordained to take us to new heights, a blessing that has come in ways than one. The traditional, spiritual, political, and cultural custodian of our rich heritage. The one whose reign is destined to bring back all that we ever lost. Your Majesty, Ogiem Atuashe the Tall, and for mercy, the unchallengeable. The first to marry a wife, O Lori, from the great Vini kingdom. The inestimable pride of a wearer worldwide. <laughs> Epitome of peace, unity and prosperity to our land and people. Your Majesty, of unique ascendancy, your name pleasantly comes with diverse firsts. You are the first son of Ogyame, Atuashe II, And in the 21st century. On this rubber here today, one whose fame is globally acclaimed. You are the one who sleeps and wakes up with the well-being of Iwere and her neighbors, a people of grounded historical and cultural foundations. Your golden smile is a therapeutic balm to your kingdom. A forwere shewere, one who pronounces a word and it is done. Ijenekpo osundada, the fearsome lion in sight. Our ancestors are alive to reality of your ascendance. Traditional dang guns have loudly sounded across Iwere land. Drums roll out in celebration of the anointed one. We've, we can feel the reverberating rhythm of our cultural renaissance. In a reawakening of our cultural identity, rejoicing at your noble path to a greater Iwere. Afoshe, 
One who says a word and it is irreversibly so. And giwere shewere. That tells our rarity and age. In history and all we have come to identify with, we are proud Iwere, a tribe in distinct value, respected across climes. You are a redefinition of royalty in our past. The meaning of genuine difference for development. You are the restoration of highly sought after sanity and justice. The burial of sustained tranquility for our people has been sounded by none but you. A refuge to sons and daughters of Iwere land. The world's acknowledged politics are neither not paper costing. They are not developmental strides or worship dreams. One who walked a long distance barefooted to the ocean area. You have come at a time that your time is highly needed. Your reign will walk us through our land and rivers for good. When the history and sacrifices of our rulers will be reeled out before the high and low of Iwere. You will stand tall as a gift and true representative of our deeply reserved ancestors who set the path for you to work the long walk of repositioning the Ishakiri their advanced and highly adored ancestral Ode Ishakiri. We can't hold back our joy and overflowing happiness, bettered by your exquisite, exquisite enthronement as our dear king. Your message of unbridled love and good laborliness will spark lights of new beginnings in the Niger Delta. Seeding meaning and essence for a beautiful tomorrow already domiciled in our land of innumerable blessings. By a constant flow of wealth running in the Bini River, our history and traditional heritage will continually glow. As lovers of shared peace, and sustainable development, we will remain a proven testament of our resilience, walking our rivers of hope for success stories, always warming up to strangers. Never have we been attired in lonely rated adornments. Never have we been recorded amongst them for meeting in glorious heart in dominant in dominant in delirious world. Never have we been counted amongst them self crumbs and porridges of shame from tables of corruption. Not an aware, no. We are proud aware. Your crown is a symbol of valued authority. Your great ancestors adorned the coral beaded crown that became a sparkling silver crown of honor in history. Today, you are an epitome of progressive difference, hoisted before the heavens in what we divinely wear. From coral bead, you became silver and now gold. Today, we happily roll out the drums in welcoming a defining bridge 
between the past of great men and women of value, valor and an end future of collective uplift. We are gladdened by the bold presence of value that will be shared from one big house of selflessness displayed by your majesty for her people. You are crowned will of God for in our time, ordained a, as a purveyor of truth and justice, determined to bring our desired to shining reality. You are being, you, you, you began, you began with a gainful reign, in a reign that began with a bold validation of a retrogressive curse that had long lost its value. You are the anointed son of our forebears. We are the Iwere, and we, the Iwere, welcome you. From the depth of our hearts, we love you. Long may you reign. And for us, and for she, and for where she went, and give where she went. Agbeseshi Boroku, Ekunkregedo Asa, Ijene Kwa Asa Nada, Ogba Uru, Odi Iname, Onu Sinamba Yedede, Ogya, Swo! Please put your hands together for them beautifully. Poetry recital titled The 21st Olu of Ori is People and Culture, crafted by a poet, a reata, a rebabo. We thank you. Please put your hands together for one more small. Sir Barista Egat Omonukari, a legal practitioner and a Shakri teacher based in Wari and Benin. Let's appreciate him. And the only woman in their midst, she is Ayola Mabiaku, daughter of late Chief Mabiaku, also an author. Let's appreciate her. And finally, the tallest among them, Prince Emmanuel Adasin Ogan, all the way from River State. 2012, Shekri Pupu consulted him for the International Royal Boat Regatta to mark 25 years on throne, uh, His Majesty Ogiame Atuashi de Tekondi Oluofori. Let's celebrate them once more. Once more, we are celebrating our monarch who was crowned on the 21st day of August 2021 as the 21st Oluofori, 21st century. A monarch with four two ones. Let's celebrate him. And of course, CNN carried out a research last year, and they said the 10 most notable events, Ulua for his coronation was among them. 10 most notable events in the world. Kosi CNN, Ogiame. Suo Baba. Next on our docket is a solo renditions. My tribute, the Lord is a man of war. The storm tossed vessel, another solo, and the magic flew to. Action, please. Move back, back, back. Okay, I'm.
for the things you have done for me things so undeserved yet you came to prove your love for me and the voice
Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Is his name.
beautiful. Put your hands together for her beautifully. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Warrior Kingdom is blessed. Am I correct? All the soloists, the duetists, are members of the Royal Iwari Choir. Please, let's celebrate them. And of course, the last performer and the organist, they are couples. Please, let's appreciate them once more. Just imagine, say, around 2 a.m., if God won't bless you, never can't take light. For kind of friend, kind of friend, we don't get here. Now, silly, you go bust their own. <laughs> but please, let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Okay, man. On this note, permit me to acknowledge Prince Yemi Emiko. We welcome you. He's the chairman of the Publicity Committee. We also have Pastor Omagbemi Kakayo. We appreciate you. Comrade Orisha Wemi Akbateniro, President Ishekuri National Youth Council. We thank you for your presence. We are still celebrating Our Majesty on the throne of Foreign Kingdom on his first coronation anniversary. This time around is poetry recital. Permit me now to call one of our chiefs here in Warwick Kingdom, Chief Bran Mene, the Ogolusa of Warwick Kingdom, alias Esemwede. So please take the poem on a people, on me where, a people with rich culture and taste. Esemwede, Erubo. Hello, hello. Omiwere, a people with great culture and taste. In the beginning, God made man of one blood and of one flesh, he made them. Male and female, he made them to multiply and fill all the earth. He made them to have dominion over all creation around them, to have and to hold, to keep and to beautify. Those were they mandated, endowed to be and to do. Exponentially they grew, extensively they grew. Growing in numbers, growing in achievements, and growing still in aspirations without hindrance. To keep extending to greater and loftier frontiers. As they broke out in aspiration for their loftier ideals, they took what they could of the old stock and left behind such things they had scorned as they found better uniqueness for which they yearned. Down the ages, a long time ago, a people gathered in trickles, coming in different and varied batches until they found them of kindred spirit. They left their erstwhile homestead, driven by the quest for a goodly change, to new and fresh base and people among whom they could find affinity. Through the creeks they journeyed, through various locations they passed, and finally stopped to stay where and among whom they found affinity. Others who had come before them, they had stopped as they felt at home on finding them of kind spirit, kindred spirits with whom in assimilation they fused. They came neither to replicate nor carry over what they had left behind in their onward search. As their hearts and spirits, body and soul were assured that providence had rightly led them to the place and among the people where they readily found affinity. 
and the conducive aura and favor, they could rejoice to call their very own. They call their land Aliwere, which the same is Iwere land, which also some several centuries ago, our European allies called in their varied versions. They call themselves Omiwere, which means the offspring of Iwere. They call themselves Ishakiri. They call their language Ishakiri. They know themselves as encircled in blessings. They know themselves as enclosed in prayers. And prayers to God and blessings from God have kept them and defining their experiences. Steadily, they kept refining their values, standards, and culture. Their norms they kept refining in response to their broadening worldview. Trust, integrity, fairness, and equity are among their norms and cherished values. Civility, peacefulness, and faithfulness are traits always rated by them as high standards. They tastefully adorn themselves, especially their women folk, who are ever gorgeously arrayed in varied and exquisite elegance. Their culinary is rich and tasty, widely varied in their exclusive recipe as well as in their alluring presentation, for which the women folk are highly reputed. Their music, their rhythmic dance steps, are also widely varied in form and composure, often in social or topical commentary, expressed in their theme and rendition. Their folklore is laden with morals to which their young ones are exposed only in their formative years, by which they are groomed for better years, we are the people of Wari, which is what our land is called, derived from the ancestral name, which at first was Iwere. Wari, they say, worries no one. Who does not worry, worry? Whoever, however, worries, worry, will surely get the worries of worrying worry. <laughs> we are Oma Iwere, the friendly, peaceful people of worry, a people with rich culture and taste. We gladly share all with all that are around us. We are Ishakiri people. We are Oma Iwere. Please, let's celebrate our chief, Chief Brown Mene, the Ogulu South Foreign Kingdom, alias Esemwede, Enedokwe Ujei Baba, Enedokwe. Your Majesty, next on our docket this evening is Medley of Hymns. And we are going to rise for this particular hymn, Your Majesty. Page 12 on our program. Ogiame. Oh. Um, as we're about singing this hymn, I will probably tell you that Baba loves hymns and we select, selected these hymns because of him. Last year when we were forming this choir, he told us about his hymns and that is why we are repeating them tonight. With all pleasure, I want you to rise up as we sing the hymns together. They are in Shekri in the middle page of your program as we all sing together.
Thank you. May we be seated, please? Okay, I mean. We are progressing. Before we take the last poetry recital, last year, media houses, electronics to be precise, they smiled to bank to cash money because of the song that was rendered in honor of your majesty last year. This time around, we are going to see the second version of it. After that, our Lori, we are going to honor her with another one. And finally, we shall get an adult pair. Please don't go away. What I'm about to witness is the Maggie of our today's gathering. On this note, your majesty, permit me to call up one of your chiefs, Chief Solomon Areka, the SO of Foreign Kingdom, alias Otweji, former chairman of Foreign North Local Government Council, former chief of staff, government of Saba, to recite a poem titled Share Oba Okale Dugu. Please, let's appreciate him. Otweji. Ogiam. The poem is titled Tiche Oba Okalogun, The Making of the 21st King. Royalty by excellence. Royalty in excellence. Shobarumi Shobaroke. Patience personified. Day est optimum. Trusting God for the rest, passing every test. Even the test of the Delphi of Iwere. This one will bring joy. This one will bring peace. This one will bring goodness. This one will usher in a golden age. Golden time to calm the rage. Silver is good, remaining in the treasure's chest. Gold is higher, ushering in a golden crest. Renaissance of my people and for my race, says the king. Ishakiri Angakuro. Ishakiri, behold your monarch. One people, one culture, one king. Bearing the cross on the crown, bearing the cross for the crown, reenacting the ancient mission of Don Domingos, fulfilling the recent mission of the second, the mission to announce the African Bell Epoch. Baba Datuwao, taught in the line of the two verses. 20 and the ultimate king, crowned on the 20 and the ultimate day, in the 20 and in the ultimate year, of the 20 and the ultimate century, that Baba Kadatuwa, what a day, gele gele Baba Datuwa reo. Everyone rolled out the drums. The regatta ran down the Wari River. A gleeful and resplendent jamboree, culminating in the Oyo Ekoro Festival. The imperial boat decked in full ododo, paddled by the traditional warriors, Ogyame special guards from Bolokboso, with Ojoyes dancing dexterously on the deck the famed and acclaimed Ishekiri dance steps. Irigbo and Ureju, Omadino and Obereda, Uborodo and Ubege, Ajabodudu and Ajatiton, Ologbo and Urubo, Jakba, Inori and all, every community in festal parade, all heading for the Shekiri to sing Ara lorire. Choral curators and a host of other corporates all joined the joyful voyage. 
decked in dazzling decorated dinghies, all heading for Big Worry to sing All Hail the King. With flying funfair from the skies, the Ojaja of Yoruba land landed Odishekiri. With rich array of courtiers and royals, and the Orikioba chanting Orikis. From the mouth of a brass trumpet, the great Ewari sent his chiefs to honor filial fecundity five centuries down the line. A royal day filled with rulers' representations from federal, state, and local, even the world's nooks and crannies. And then, amidst Ogume, Enrioyo, Ujo, and Yiyi Bute Bute by Omar Aliwere Dede. The long awaited stepped out of Idanike and performed the very last chore for Ago for Laja to labor in the farm. Ago for Laja to Shorigi. Ago for Laja to fetch water. Blindfolded, picked he the Uda, like all his forebears. Picked he a sword, the sword of two bearing their names. The three have come in their times to turn the hearts of Shishakri full time. Unto the king of kings, before whom all nations bow, so that Ishewa Kiyene, as named by the ancestors. Then the big hour for the much awaited, the big hour for Ichekiri, the young and aged. Ekmuk Brigadier Osun takes a long royal walk in majestic strides with overwhelming screams of excitement, accompanied by scores of Ujoyes, gorgeously adorned in chiefly attirement. A festal day it was, children, Youths and aged, all screaming, Ogyame. Everyone a paparazzi. Everyone a chronicler. Jamming YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Watching globally on a thousand channels, the world stood still. Then he sat on the exalted throne. Ishakiri Dede Mokyangao. Iyashere greeted all. The keeper of the royal wardrobe called he to crown the king. Uwangwe stepped forward. The gold crown by the royal courtiers was presented. Uwangwe crowned the king. And then Baba Kadadua. And the belly belly sounded the long note, Ogyame. Oh. In full blast, drowned by screams and cheers from thousands, a happy mass COVID could not cover. In the hall, all over the Chakiri, and on a thousand channels, the internet shook with likes, comments, and cheers. The Royal Iwere Choir chanting, O Lu of Iwari, O Laji Iwere. And then the Iwere anthem, Ara Lorire, and wrapping all up with handles, Hallelujah. These worry people are something else culture, tradition, and faith converging in joyful crescendo. It shall henceforth be called Atuwashe the Third. For that is the order he picked blindfolded. On that day in August, in a flash, I saw history. On that day in August, sitting next to me, an elderly man saw the day. He saw the day and said the non Demetis. I can now depart in peace, for my eyes have seen the future of Iwere. Iwere, you can no longer be ignored. Worry, you have come of age. 
Ishekiri be forever surrounded with blessings. Ishekiri and Akuru. Ishekiri arise. Nigeria arise. Africa arise. Ishekiri behold your king. For he shall come suddenly for his own on a day unexpected. So you must be prepared. O Giyame Atuwashi sings on the throne, inspiring a new generation, amazing the old generation, everyone high and low, stood still in pensive hour, then a thunderous applause. He sings from the throne, Lord, have your way. I am just a vessel and nothing more. And when all is done, I will be satisfied just to see you glorified. He cast his crown before the Almighty. From the word go, he lays it bare. And so, who dares? No wonder kings troop from far and near, by air, land, and sea, to crown this amazing king. Sages kneel in honor and prayers to God before this sage. This great one carries three mantles, a prophet, a priest, and a king. <laughs> sages come from far and near to Agofe, blessing and honoring this monarch, identifying with history, identifying with royalty. And after singing, he stands in grandeur and makes that speech. That speech, that speech that settles every doubt and every controversy. So full of authority, so full of wisdom, so full of inspiration, and above all, so full of forgiveness. Truly sitting next to me on that momentous day, the elder said, I can now go to my ancestors in peace. From my eyes, I've seen the future of my people. Royalty per excellence, royalty in excellence, royalty personified, a day in Kairos never to be forgotten. This royal father has come to Tuashi to announce an African renaissance, Ishakuri and Akuro. Iradunu Dede. Angakuro, historian contributing to history, spectacle creating spectacle, lover of tourism creating the destination. The monarch, the modern monarch says, there is a way. All things are possible. This king inspires, trained in the school of kings, groomed from the very cradle to be a king. The Amphalos affirmed this one was born with a scepter from the womb of the blessed Olori, from the loins of the great Atuashe Ogyame II, grandson of the legendary Ogyame Erejua II, from the lineage of the Olus, after the order of royal Genoa, the Daiken from Benin, for the scepter of Were shall not depart from the lineage of Shiloh. Iye Olu blessed Adao amongst women. Oluria Tuashe blessed Adao amongst women. For this king says in his kingdom, women shall no longer be invisible. <laughs> For this one is king right from the womb, says the oracle. And before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, says Jeremy the prophet. Patience is golden and shall wear a golden crown. Olu Atu Ashe Third inspires. Don't give up on your dreams. Look up into the skies and you will see your crown. For after the rain comes the sun with a glorious rainbow. Ishakiri and Akuro. Niger Delta and Akuro, Nigeria and Akuro, Africa and the Dekoro, 
a Jumaran, all men of goodwill, it is your day. Let there be peace on earth. Stop the greed. Stop the wars. Let justice roll from the throne like an ever-flowing stream. We can create the world with desire for all things are possible when we believe in his dreams. Royalty per excellence. Royalty in excellence. Obao me, obao ke. You will reign as long as the moon remains in the sky. You will reign as long as the sun shares its glorious rays on earth. You will reign as long as the Niger Delta drains its waters into the Atlantic. Royalty for excellence. Royalty in excellence. Ogame Atuashe the third. The digital king. His Majesty Atuashe the third. The king that inspires. Ijenek was under the Ogbawuru a formas a giwa se were anoka gbesen shiberuku olaja du ka kenu yuri gbi orise nebu e ogi ame thank you very much ulisami omasa edukuro the poet thank you ewo mi wa tete asu Baba ya tabe ya na I The poem is historical It's a novel It's a film If you were in there please consult the poem And the the poet is here Ulisami Omasa Eduku We thank you Your Majesty Next on our docket tonight is renditions. Ugame Baba. After that, Wuwu Olori. And finally, Enedokwe. The choir, please.
officially unveil the Royal Iwera Society. We mentioned this during our, the maiden edition of Iwago Fair, December last year. And looking at the logo itself, as you can all see, it speaks to our identity. These are the famous Iwere leaves Ijiji saw when he got to Ode Shekiri. And this is where we derive our name. And in many ways, this is something that we have been looking at and never fully embraced. Once again, speaks to what we have been taking for granted as a people. But this shall inspire a new, unprecedented greatness in this kingdom. This society shall help to coordinate and organize a central resource center for all Ishekiris, for all things Ishekiri, our identity, our history, our cultural practices. It is the heart that houses initiatives that will promote our art and culture, programs that we have already launched, such as Gigo Agofem, the Iwere Historical Initiative, the Museum of Kings, and many more to come. Simply put, this society has the aim to revive Ishekiri identity and bring it into relevance in the 21st century. It shall help our children identify with our heritage and most importantly, connect with it. If modernity is the stairway to innovation and improved living, then traditional values are the banisters that support us and ensure that as we progress, we do not fall off and lose the quintessence, the quintessence of the heritage we have been richly blessed with. Values such as honor, respect, diligence, and loyalty are timeless and can never be overemphasized. Royal Liberia Society will be the hub to ensure that as society evolves, we must retain what keeps us humble, loyal, and true to our noble origins. Prior to today, there are some who have served as the unofficial keepers of records pertaining to Ishekiri. Today, I am calling for every piece of literature written about or in the interest of any and all things Ishekiri, in whatever capacity, for a copy to be brought to this society. Every map, judgment, treaty, legal document about or in the interests of all things Ishekiri. We shall come up with detailed lineage histories and how the individuals and their lineages are tied to the various communities. We shall come up with detailed history of all the chieftaincy titles that have been in existence, their appellations, and the names of the individuals who have held these titles at various times. There will be debates, there will be lectures, there will be plays, there will be dance dramas, there will be specific examinations of our relationship and interactions with all our neighbors, Urobos, Ijaws, Isokos, Nembe, Binis, Yorubas, Igalas, and so on and so forth. This will be a center to look at our past, to live in our present, and chart out the path to our future. As proud as everyone here is tonight to be Shakiri,
by the time we are done, it will bring us to a newfound level of organization that indeed will cause us to be the envy of Africa. Once again, I introduce you all to the Royal Iware Society. This society will be chaired by myself and the various individuals who will be heading the several departments in this society will officially be communicated in due time. God bless you all. Good night. Okay. Please, no pass together for His Majesty. Oboru Afoshe. Janet Posondada. So, Baba. And the Pope, Baba. Your Majesty, once more, I could talk before you. Sacred indulgence to death streets to item number 16 on the program. Choir in closing. A. Ugame Atua Shoketa. And B. Hallelujah Chorus. The choir, please. Please, for the Hallelujah Chorus. Thank you.